Welcome back to Ogre Battle 64, everybody. Now, in the last episode, we did okay. We at least got through Castle Wentinus and struck down uh, Richard, although he was then killed by his brother because he ran away like a pussy, and Baldwin took matters into his own hands. But here's the thing. So, between episodes, it's been 24 hours for you. For me, it's been about three hours. And why? Because even though my recording went clean on both the video and my audio, something exploded in my Wii U. Not literally. I am playing this on my Wii U through the Virtual Shop, and I don't know what I did, but after I exited the organization screen, something crashed so hard that the Wii U could not be reset. Like, I hit the reset button, I hit the power button on my Wiimote, I had to pull the plug from my Wii U and plug it back in to make it work. So, whatever happened, I don't know what exploded, but the other downside was my progress was lost on the last battle. So I reloaded, we got through it, and to be fair, those characters that had been killed, quote-unquote, uh, in the last attempt, I removed them from the army to uh, make it fair, because I got through the last battle much cleaner the second time. But... The good news of that is we've got a couple special editions after I moved the characters around and did a little look, uh, looky-loo. Parika's unit now has two, uh, two, uh, Valkyries, two Freyas, rather, and a frickin' ogre! And so does the other unit, who I believe is V-Cap. They have an identical composition now. Um, where is it? Oh, there it is. So yeah, there's, oh, Sin's unit. So Sin also has two Freyas, a Sorceress, although she's got Meridia specifically, and an Ogre in the front row. So the Ogre is substantially weaker. Well, maybe not. The Ogre's 32 now. There's 31 there, 33. Mm, they're close. So those two units will be okay, I am sure. So other than that, we're fine. Everyone's geared up and ready for war. This is going to be a lot more, uh... A lot more interesting. Scene 40, the sleeping goddess. This would be the final stage if we had not tanked our reputation. So this is sort of the ending, but not. Ruins of Karyoleth. I need to get a little bit of volume now. I also forgot to turn battle animations on, so hopefully I remember to do that before the first fight. Yes, I can feel it's getting stronger. The same aura of Azaro and the power of our goddess. Baldwin, you must be feeling it as well. The awakening is near. Can this woman really resurrect Danica? Mm. Weren't you hurt because of this woman? <laughs> no need to worry, her mind is gone. The despair of losing her love has pushed her over the edge. It's hilarious! It made my job so easy. Now she's merely my puppet. Uh-oh, more mouth covering. Shit. Damn that kid. That's a run cycle. You wish to be awakened, Lady Danica? Please be patient. I'll be right there. <laughs> uh, are you going to stab Mary? Mari? Mary? Hurry, summon our goddess with the sacred sword. Months wrong, Mari. Mary, can't you do it? That's impossible. Even if you sh even if you don't know, your blood should. The power you inherited from him, the knowledge which encompasses both good and evil, should tell you. The arcane words needed to communicate with the gods. I don't know. What? I have control over your mind. And even if I knew, I wouldn't do such a thing. That's it. Your time is over. 
I'll tell you everything. Listen to me, Mary. This isn't for us. It's for your father. Oh God, another character being introduced. What are you? What are you saying? I have no father. The reason you were born, your feelings toward you, Mole, and the fact you're here with me right now. All of these were according to your father's plan. This is the fate prepared for you by your father, who is the sage of Zetaginia. The fate given to you for you to follow. You understand now, don't you? Mary, you cannot escape your fate. My feelings for you, Mole. Even that was planned? Yes, Mary. Yumel's destiny, his love for you. Everything was planned beforehand. Don't go against your fate. Suck it. I, I won't. This can't be... Hurt. Oh, poor Mary. But again, a lot of this would be a lot more impactful if they gave more information with any of these characters other than just randomly introducing them. I mean, Mary Mary was introduced pretty early on, but it was just like, here, here's this girl for you, because every king gets a free girl. And then, like, they love each other, but sure. Like, it's just sort of automatic with no context, and so it loses a little something. But again, I'm looking at this from a storyteller's perspective, so who the hell am I? Yumel. Yumel. Yumel! My lord! Ah! Ah! Wait, did she actually stab herself, or stab just... She stabbed the ground? Oh. She's stabbing the ground repeatedly. That's not good for that sword. Especially since it's stone. That's a... It's a good way to lose this, to lose the edge. Please forgive me, Yumel. I'm sorry. Uh The stone healed itself. Well, that's just creepy as fuck. Okay. Time for war. We've come a long way, but I think this is it. Slap it, don't lose yourself. Yeah, we'll be fine. Let's get started. That's the right way to start every meeting. We will start this campaign in Messony, in the southwest. We will march to the ruins of Cariola, two days to the northeast. We must capture Cariola and prevent Danica's resurrection. Although it might be too late, apparently. This battle will determine the future of this land. All we can do is fight the best we can. You know, standard battle at least to start, since Hugo didn't give us any intel. All we have to do is look at the cities and rush either Kaelin or literally anybody else and keep going. I'm sure if I go north, there's going to be some sort of ambush, but we'll deal with that when we get there. Will this really be our last battle? Nope. If we prevent the resurrection of Danica, Lotus' scheme, will our battle end there? Slappy. I've been thinking lately, for the first time, if I'm actually the one who's escalating this war, if I involved Yumel, this kingdom, in this war... What? Oh, Hugo, the path I've walked upon, the actions I took, was I right? Why well, deny what you've done up to now? You're an asshole! You've led the battalion against those who stood against us. It's not bad to reflect on your actions, but regret will not serve you well. You did your best. Everybody knows that. <laughs> okay, that's why we followed you. I understand why you're troubled, but remember, not all things have definite answers. Take it easy. Look straight ahead. Stand proud. Let's go. Okay. I will proudly stand as I burn every village to the ground in order to tank my reputation. Alright, so the city in the north, we're gonna have to send like three units over there just in case. First of all, I'm going to face east. 
See if there's enemy, any enemies heading toward us. Doesn't seem to be so. Low morale. Eh. Low morale. Oh, that's good. Uh, hi. So Kaelin will need to be involved. Hi. Low. Low. Okay. The high-ish. Okay. So, we're going to send... I'm going to delay her dispatch. That way I know that um, she's a step behind everybody else. Alright, so we'll send uh, six units this way. I'm sorry, five units. Well, six including... Oh, Kaylin's one of the weaker ones anyway. That's awesome. Okay. Um... I think, so she's number four, I think. She's gonna break away from everybody else. And then, Tila. Is that five? How many have I dispatched? I'm all confused. All right, there's one, two, three. I've dispatched five. Okay, so we'll send four to the north. No. Yeah, no. No, we'll send three to the north. So Lithia can go east. And then, Aethel. Per damn it. Perika. Actually, Perika might be a low, um, might, well, he probably, she probably isn't low, but she's not going to be among the upper alignments, since she's got a ogre with her. And ogres are low, uh, okay, low alignment on. Oh, well, that's good enough for now. Let's go. Um, oh, that unit is coming to us. How about that? All right, so what did I order Kaylin to do? Did I tell her to just... Yeah, I told her to go to the town. Okay, so that's fine. So the, the bulk of the core is heading south and then east, and then a small division is heading north. God damn it, I knew I'd forget. I knew I'd forget to turn him off. Or on. Damn it. Turn on. Jeez. Okay. Um, we've got six grand in our pockets for any resurrection costs. But I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. I'm hoping we'll be fine. And of course, since Slappy's dealing with the boss, then uh, that's all that we're going to have to worry about. And everyone's nice and strong with advanced weapons. Um, we didn't have enough weapons to go for everybody, so some people are still using their basic e equipment, but... Very few are. Just about everybody has really good gear um, of some kind. Even if it's not super helpful, because no gear is, like, game-changing, but every little bit helps. And it turned out that Karth's weapon of choice was called Satan something, but now he's got an even better one, so Karth is being a lunatic, which is great. Why does Kaelin move so much faster than everybody else? It's very strange. This is what I was worried about. I didn't want Kaelin to get all the experience points here. But it's okay. Bam. You have good parity, so... I mean, obviously, Kaelin is not the second strongest unit anymore, so... It's not so bad. And we should be able to wipe everybody out if we land our attacks from here. Boosh, there's one. There's two. And three. Good job, Kalen. And everyone's more evil. Even better. Except the skeleton. I bet the skeleton's a minimum alignment. I got an item that raised alignment, and there were a bunch of characters I couldn't use. <laughs> so, oh geez. Alright, uh, Kalen. Wait, how healthy are you? Uh, I'll risk it. Only the pumpkin head is in danger. Spencer. Oh, shit. Well, this is gonna be awkward. Ow. Ow, that was a bad call on my part. Okay, we may have to run to save the pumpkin head. That's useful. Yeah, we'll definitely have to run to save the pumpkin head. Never mind, we'll just, we'll just run now. No reason to risk him unnecessarily. 
And besides, that way we can get a unit up there that can actually take those characters out. Oh, he wants to run now. Well, that's good. Good thing my entire vanguard is right on his ass. All right, here you go, Pumpkinhead. Hooray! You are now extra pumpkin-y. Just in time for Thanksgiving. Actually, no, I'm recording this on November 30th, so you've missed the pumpkining. All right, let's do this. Nice block. Okay. Well, that's that. And that's that. All right, I think, uh... <laughs> Wait, is this cute Shaman or is this Hida? I can't tell, they, they have the exact same makeup. Even down to their gear, I think they're the exact same now. Doesn't matter. There's just a whole lot of undead dead people, or dead undead people. Whoa! That's a lot of experience points. Good job, guys. Okay. That was Hide. Oh yeah, I don't think Q Shaman's di been dispatched. Uh-oh. Aethel's up, and... Aethel is a lot more effective now. Um, we He had to do some training, and he is definitely more effective now. And Aethel is kind of proving me wrong. Well, see, that, that was a pretty decent shot. Aethel himself has a pretty strong offensive weapon. Yeah, we're doing all right. If he had landed that blow, the leader would be gone by now. So... Yes, please spread the damage out, you stupid ogres. Leaderless. Bam. Haboosh. Haboosh. And I think we're out. Unfortunately, the ogres still get attacks. Better field pause, because I'm going to have to... Oh, never mind. Oh, that's fine. That is so fine, it does not matter. Oops. Okay, that city is captured. Excellent. Um, is everyone... Everyone's just gathering in there, right? Okay. I'm gonna have Kaylin get, uh, sit in the city as well, just to recover her health and her fatigue a little bit. And... Okay. Whichever one of you is weaker, go finish that unit off. That would be Perika. And see the ogre in action. Go we'll get him. So the ogre is not a game changer. He is very strong, but he is not ultra mega super strong. But should be able to help him. <laughs> a critical hit for 38. Lovely. Oh, I love that. Yeah, just keep trying to do the night kisses on the pumpkin, because power powering him down does not actually change anything. Bam! 98. Nice hit. We are doing well here. Oh yeah. Loads of damage. Still no way to attack him. I guess if I do this combo in the future, I really need to give this unit a back attacker. Because that way, if the lead is covered like this, then we could still take the lead out. Um, I guess if I could redo it, Archmage Kaelin should have been a sorceress rather than a witch, but it is what it is. It doesn't matter. She's doing fine. Witches, I have discovered, are not super great in, uh, in the game usually. They're alright if you have a support and everybody else is a strong attacker, but for Kaelin's unit makeup, just an anti-tank unit, basically... Witches are not super great. Not that Kaelin hasn't done well. Obviously, Kaelin has done very well over the course of this campaign. She has managed to paralyze some creatures that have caused us some degree of anguish. But as a specialist unit, I think having a witch in that unit was a mistake. Not a big one. All right, Parika, keep moving. We're going to wait until these two units break themselves upon the southern division here. I still want to know why Kaelin keeps getting the call over everybody else. It's very strange. Uh, well, that's that. 
guess I'll field pause. So we can give the pumpkin head a heal seed, because he's going to need one now. Ugh. Imps are so pointless if they're not in the back row. If they are in the back row, they are annoying. If they're in the front row, it's hard to hit them, but they sure as hell don't have any offense. That's why I gave up on them pretty early in the game. I don't think I would have given up on them wholly if I realized they got that strong in the back row, but uh, didn't we have a unit with four imps at one point? I think, because that was back when I was just recruiting anybody I could possibly recruit since we needed numbers back then. Alright, there you go, Pumpkinhead. Okay. I'm gonna wait until I get the rest of the vanguard to the next city before I let this one keep going east because I don't know if they're going to try to ambush us and I want to make sure that we have people in position to respond quickly. That is an earth dragon. And he's got earthquake. And I don't like earthquake very much. Earthquake causes me problems. We'll survive it, but yeah, that's that's a pretty serious blow. It's not. Oof. Have I had my second heal yet? Jeez, man. Yeah, I didn't think we'd win that one. They took a lot of damage out of us. That would have been a lot of death if we didn't have a priest involved. Alright, heal pack. Back to fighting shape, everybody. Excellent. Alright, keep going. Go! Oh, we scared her off! She wants no part of us. And there's another capture. Okay. Which of you is the weakest? Forget it. Galadriel's the only one healthy. Get in there. Get, get, finish her off. And if we take her from the back, then the Earth Dragon will be in the front row and he won't be doing that Earthquake bullshit against us. But Diana is the leader, so it's going to be corner to corner for our poor Pumpkin Man. Should do plenty of damage here. Yeah, the, the Diana is the main threat, so keeping her in check. He's not even attacking her. He probably can't. There's too many... I don't think you can go corner to corner in the game. Like, you can't attack from the right to the left unless there's literally no one else left to target. So, that was a crit for 20, so that was totally pointless. Yeah, that's why she's the threat. Ow. We won it, but that didn't feel very good. I don't think they're going to run, though. We took out one character, but that's the only damage we do. I may have to return Kaelin back to camp and get more items before she keeps going, because she's gotten... She's had to use a lot of items here. Oh, yeah, here she comes. Okay. You two can rest for a minute. Oh, wait. How is your fatigue? Because you've been marching a while. Ah, uh, you're still okay. That unit named Mary will have very few pro or will will be will not be able to do very much offense, so we'll be okay. There we go, that's even better. I mean if we can't make them leaderless, if we can at least keep them in check and kill a character, that gets us closer to where we need to be. Hopefully we'll kill a second character here too. Come on guys. Connect. Good job. Much better. Okay. Now we can safely chase this unit down, assuming they don't go after us themselves. The one advantage you've got in Ogre Battle 64, the enemy cannot resurrect their troops. Yep, she's still coming. What a, what a dumb choice. Alright. So, we're, well... 
Let's see, they're not even leaderless. This is so weird that they would turn tail. I didn't think they were that damaged. Oh, that's not good. Ooh, we may have to run. Do your heal. Do your heal next. Uh, uh, that's good enough. Just, just go. Damn. That was a very strong acid vapor. Okay. Uh, Galadriel, let's get you... You know what? Just stop, Galadriel. Just go to town. Just go to town. You're tired anyway. How about the other two? Yeah, the other two are pretty tired. Just chill out. We can let her go. It sucks, kinda, but... I don't feel like consuming items just to get her. She's got very little left. She has... Well, never mind. She's... Oh, man. Alright, well, we have Angel Fruits for a reason. Okay, Aethel. Um, oh, he's actually okay now. Yeah, go chase her down. She'll be tired by the time we reach her, so... It'll be our advantage. And this should be over pretty quickly. Bam. Bam. Yep, that was... Wow. Okay. Good, good job, Karth. Alright, so we'll use... Um, well, we'll check energy first. How's everyone feeling here? Everyone's doing pretty okay. Alright, so VCAP, Hide, and Kamoko will go this way. Actually, I changed my mind. Pause. Uh, Kamoko. And Tila will go this way. VCAP will chase down that unit. And Kaylin will return to base. But we're not going to waste a quick gate on her. Well, we're not going to waste a quick aid. Okay. And then once VCAP finishes hunting down that unit, she'll return to the city to rest. Meanwhile, let's see how this is resolving itself. Hmm. Getting a little bit more intel is good. I'm worried that they're going to... That Mary's going to be chased all the way... Oh, shit. Aethel's getting tired again. Oh, man. Alright. Well, Sorceress will at least be able to hit. Hopefully the Pallies do, too. Good. That's what I need to see. We may not be able to catch that unit in the north. I don't want to pursue to the point where we get drawn into a trap. Okay, good job. So, this is VCAP, right? VCAP can return to the city, rest up, and then once Kalen gets back, we'll make the move to the east. I'm gonna watch this carefully. If that... Yeah, I was wondering about that. Use, um... Use your angel fruit. Now we won't be exhausted when we... Oh! He's moving. Okay. Good job, Kalen. Alright, so we're going to have Kalen retreat for now. And it's only to get her some more items. So, heal packs, heal seeds. Alright, now you're good to go. And we're going to dispatch her right back to the same city. There she can rest for a second. And Kide is facing some... Oh, God damn it, a sphinx. Okay. Quick hooks, gentlemen. That's good, leaderless. Unfortunately... Our priest healed, so we're not going to be able to sur- Oh, shit. I'm going to risk it. 
If the priest gets her heal off again, then we're fine. There we go. Alright, let's see. He could survive either the ogre's hit or the sphinx's hit, but not both. If the sphinx targets the priest... What the hell am I doing? Just Pedro of Flame. Oh, wait. That kind of fucked me over. Ah, shit. Oh, wait. Everyone's gonna survive that. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that worked out. That worked out. It was close, but at least now the Sphinx is gone. Um, apparently... I can get a Sphinx in this level, which I would e So the way it works is if the chance of finding a wild creature during a fight is extremely low, but finding a creature after a fight is much higher. And usually the game ends here, but since it doesn't... Uh-oh. Yep, that's what I was worried about with Aethel. Um, since the game does not end after this fight with the way we've been playing, it might be worth going out of my way to get one due to how strong the final group is going to be. But that said, I'm not going to waste my time doing it. Our core is very strong as it is, especially now that we've added two ogres to the proceedings. So it's fine. Um, I'm not going to waste my time trying to catch creatures like this is a Pokemon tournament. Once we are done here. Alright. So, Aethel has succeeded in his little mission. I'm going to have him pull back. And, uh, we're gonna have him... get back to town. Because that is a long trip. That is why he got so tired. I don't want him... Oh, shit. If they're dumb enough to chase him all the way to that city... Fair enough, but I don't think they are. I have a feeling they're going to... Well, not. What the hell? Alright, VCAP, face east. Right now, everybody just needs to rest up for a second. I am shocked he's still being chased. That is really surprising, because they also left that city undefended now. What? Okay, so she's heading west... I can't see this unit anymore because it's out of my... S it's in the fog of war. Oh, shit! They're, they're starting a charge. Okay. So we just need to hole up and survive a gauntlet for a minute. Which is no problem. We're good at surviving gauntlets. We are very good at surviving gauntlets. Ugh. So close to a kill shot. Got plenty of items to work with, too. Man, I'm glad I sort of saw how that was, whole thing was proceeding, because I was going to send Kaelin eastward. And if I had, it would have left the city she's currently on kind of open, which I don't really care about. But, I don't know. It's just creating a hole that the enemy can slice your army in half through is never a good idea. So we're in okay shape here. I mean... The best the enemy can do at this point, as far as our units, is to go around them and try to head to our toward our headquarters. But then they're going to go into Slappy's waiting arms, and that's not going to work out very well for them. Yeah, they're just they're just starting a general charge now. They're scared. I don't know what triggered that. I don't know if it was Aethel moving too far forward or if it was um the fact we captured this city. It may not- it doesn't matter. I mean, now that the enemy show- uh-oh. Well, this is a mirror match, isn't it, Kalen? Boop! I love that sound. Okay, at least we took down a character. And we got the paralyzation off before she could. That is a lot of damage we just inflicted. And a lot of damage they just inflicted. Ooh, this... This one might come down to the wire. I mean, it's great. They're leaderless now. We may get pushed back. 
So we're going to have the moral victory, if nothing else. Yeah, we got the actual victory. Excellent. All right, that's two units leaderless in front of us, I think. Um, yeah, let's not risk this. Healing leaves are cheaper than resurrections. Okay. So we'll let this unit come after us. We'll let those units come after I don't know where the... I don't know where the unit was that was here. Whether they disappeared or whether... I mean, they didn't disappear, but they'll either cross the bridge and face Sloppy or they return back to their camp. Once morning comes, we might send Aethel and his division toward the next city. I just... I really want to know where that unit is that ran off. That had been chasing Aethel, that is. Leaderless. God, Kide hits really hard. Man, this is such a good unit composition. I don't know what I would have done if I hadn't gotten those Angel Knights. That's another cool thing about Ogre Battle that, like, you can look back and you can see the little things that led you to your army composition. Like, if I had not gotten the Angel Knights, how would I have done this? Would I have just brought in a fourth paladin so I ensured that I would have an anti-undead uh, anti unit? And if I have a fourth paladin, like, what does that do to Q Shaman's unit or Hide's unit since they have the exact same formation? Does only one of them have it and the other one is something more conventional? Like, I don't know. I, I'm interested in tactics like that. I like strategy games because oftentimes there are multiple ways to do object objectives. Usually in video games, there is a best way to do an objective. You know, a most efficient way to do an objective. But that's not necessarily the most fun. And certainly... It's not the only solution. Like, right now, the best, most efficient objective for us would be to have me run Slappy right up the gut, forgetting all these cities, just charge him right to the boss, slaughter everybody in his path, and then sit with a cup of tea while watching the credits. But that's not fun. At least not to me. So, you know, Slappy can stay home. Is that three leaderless units now? Oh my god. Alright. Alright, first thing I thought that was a cockatrice, but that is not. I'm a little scared for a moment. Man, my teeth hurt. I had lunch today. Those are two separate statements. I've noticed if I drink a lot of soda, my teeth start to hurt. It's the sugar. So, I'm trying to drink more water, be more healthy. Yeah, it's cheaper. Yeah, because we have low amounts of money right now. All right. Bam. Bam. Okay. Not bad. Took out their leader. Okay, so I guess we're on cleanup duty until I find where that last unit went. It, it either skirted this group or it decided to, and, and is going after Slappy, or it went back, oh, yep, hold on. It is, it is indeed going after Slappy. Okay, so now that we know where that unit is, Aethel, Perika, and Galadriel can go after this town safely. It just doesn't matter anymore. And we don't need to worry about defending this one anymore. Because they, they've got to be well rested by this point. I cannot imagine they're at anything less than 100%. So... We'll do that, and then, um, so those units, Hide is surprisingly the weakest one, so we're gonna send him right here to chase down those units, and then here, VCAP can chase down these units. Sure, Kalen is going to head to the next city. Talithia is going to leapfrog her and head to the city afterward. And then Kaelin will turn north, and we will all converge on this city to rest, and then I'll probably send Slappy to about here and see what happens. 
All right, so that's the plan. Team break. Time skip for you. Wait, no time skip. Let's see. Let's see how Slappy goes first, and then we'll time skip. Because Slappy's got some better gear now, too. We've retooled his unit just a wee bit, so everyone's much stronger. Let's see if he can wipe this unit out in one go. Well, that's already a good start. I don't know why I'm questioning it, because the Lich alone will be able to get it done. He's still got White Mute. Right use unit still has Annihilation and Meteor Strike, so... Okay... Yeah, this is a... Uh, this is a... F you hit me for eight. I hit you for 107. How did that feel? I'm sorry, I guess you can't reply to me because you're dead because I hit you for 107 damage. And that will finish that off, I am sure. Okay. So I am going to clean up this mess, grab those cities, and we'll be back if something weird happens or when we're ready for the final boss push, whichever comes first. There were no surprises taking all the cities and wiping out all the units. Nothing ambushed us. Nothing's happened. Slappy's well rested, so he's about to fight Baldwin at high noon, or close to high noon, which just gives Slappy an, an advantage as if he needs one. So here we go. Damn fluffy pillows. Why do you keep... Why do you keep interfering with my plan? Your scheme ends here. Danica will not be resurrected. Don't get me wrong, there's no need to worry about Danica. I broke the seal solely to be blessed by her, so that I gain the ultimate power, and then I... will kill a god. I will kill Danica. You even intend to use the Queen of the Netherworld, and you think that any of that's going to work out for you? Kill the goddess, Danica! Do you truly believe such a thing can be done? Don't forget, Danica is only a demigoddess. I doubt that she is immortal. I will become a legend and be remembered as a god myself. That makes no sense. Him can never be a god. The ultimate power isn't meant for humans. It will only create chaos. You don't get it, do you? I will use my power to eliminate chaos. When confronted with the impossible, people can accept the existence of a god. I'll gain the ultimate power, exceeding my human capacity and that of the darkness. I will become a god. I believe that since ancient times, heroes and gods were born like this. Rejoice, a new hero is born from the ashes of your dad. Okay, we'll see how all that works out. So that ogre is nothing, but Baldwin himself might be a little on the strong side. So, well, that's good. That that combination probably means when the Lich does white mute, it will kill the left demon and the ogre at the same time, which will just leave Baldwin open. Yep. Wow. Good hit there, buddy. You too. I'm so intimidated by how strong your offense is. I just don't know how I'm going to sleep tonight looking at all that damage you've inflicted on me. And, uh... Oh, shit. He actually dodged. Oh, we're going to wipe the unit out. Because of our lich, we will wipe the unit out completely. That's funny. Yeah, screw you guys. We still didn't get any experience points for it because Slappy's goddamn powerful. Ugh. Ugh. The ultimate power is mine. Is it? Ah, shit. Shit. Damn it all, I'm almost there. The ultimate power awaits me. Uh, what? It's a Medusa. Ew. Kind of a gross Medusa. Eh, the time has come for Lady Danica. Oh, I, I wait. This world 
Oh god. Uh, Herc. Ew. She turned into goop. Who are you? Woman, you won't have it. <laughs> Ultimate power is mine. Oh my god. What an asshole. How is she still breathing? Uh, he, you... Herc. Fuck you, bald one. Ah, my goddess Danica, I'm the one who awakened you. How could you... How... Why would she fall for that? She's staring right... Well, whatever. Bless me! Grant me the ultimate power! No, stop! Uh... You enjoy that, Baldwin? You have fun? Ugh. Y Yumel? No, you're not Yumel. Who are you? I am Danica, daughter of a human king and the goddess of the earth. I was once known as the goddess of fertility a long time ago. Danica, queen of the netherworld. You too call me by that name. I know you, though not well. Within me lies another who knows you. The color of your hair and your eyes? Are you... are you Yumel? It all started with a mistake. After being enticed by Demunza, king of the netherworld, into eating the fruit of the netherworld, my mother put me into a deep sleep. So I would not succumb to the infernal aura, my soul was separated from my body and I went into a deep slumber. I was never to awaken, unless I was summoned, as long as people did not want me to return as a god. A man who yearned for my power, his heart woke me. I want power. He yearned for power to protect his beloved. I gave him my blessing, my power, and demanded repar reparation to offer me a vessel so that I can fully awaken. A vessel. As I made contact with his feelings, I felt my own loneliness. My heart was filled with sorrow. I could not bear to be alone. My desire to reawaken being strong, I demanded a vessel to hold my soul. I don't know what happened to him after the covenant was made, except the person you hold close to your heart was the vessel, the child of the covenant. The sword, the token of the covenant, accepted his blood, and my knights obeyed his commands. When his heart came down to me, I felt him. I felt his deep sorrow. I did not want to wake up. I was filled with unbearable sadness. He has been suffering by himself. Damn it. Why? This is it. No, I won't accept this. Won't. Forget, damn him, I... Yeah, my goddess, grant me power, have mercy, Herc. I won't accept it. The ultimate power is mine! Be one with the gods! Ah, the ultimate power! The ultimate MacGuffin! Our world, this land! What have I, what have I done? No, you mustn't be awake. I want an exit. Fools, all is planned! I want to say the... The day covenant, I'm worthy! Brother, my brother! Why accept my blood? Afraid I was for I'm with me! Die curse all the blah blah blah! No! I saw my name in there at some point! Do can you buy if uh, 
I did not know my throat was capable of making those noises. I said, I apologize. I do think it's a cool twist on the story that Danica is not the ultimate evil bad. I mean, she's, but she's turning into that because she's being consumed by others' emotions. Uh, hey baby, do you, uh, do you like cheeseburgers? I know a good place around the corner. Uh, all living worship beings, worship me! I'll worship you. Please don't kill me with your hair that are also heads that are also Venus flytraps. We didn't make it in time? Damn it! Don't worry, Slappy. This was also an Ogre Battle classic where you had this, uh, second- Oh my god! Where you had the second battle after the last quote-unquote battle. Could- Could you stop, please? Is it our turn yet? <laughs> oh, man. Luckily, our priest has a very potent heal. And this is why we sent Slappy in to do the last bit, because... Holy shit, man. No running from this one, so it's time to Pedro the shit out of this. Oh, wow. That was efficient, wasn't it? God damn. I wonder if all the Pedros are weak for that reason. We'll have to see. I'm charging the Pedros awfully quick. I wish I had noticed that from the beginning. It makes sense, because she's hitting that hard. Yeah, the Pedros are useless. Well, every little bit helps, I guess, with hit points, so... Oh, man. Oh, uh, that helps the Lich, but doesn't help the, uh... Paladin. Hopefully the White Mute is able to finish her off. Yes! Good job, team! Oh boy, that got a little close. A little dicey. Uh... I don't feel like I've earned congratulations, but okay. You can tell it's the end because you didn't get soldiers or money back from it. Did that break your spell, Danica Yumel? Son of man, I thank you for stopping me. Yeah, see, she's not evil. She just got consumed by asshole emotions. Sort of like Rogue from the X-Men, because I'm a nerd. Please wait, tell me one thing. Were you truly Queen of the Netherworld? Both good and evil reside within my heart. And as both god and human, I continually sway between the two sides. I become the queen of the netherworld when my heart is filled with hatred, and peace of mind makes me the goddess of fertility. Which side I take depends on the consciousness that emanates from this world. Do you realize I'm just like you? Way of the darkness. Both you and the denizens of the netherworld share the same origin. Humans live on fertile lands, while the ogres live in the wastelands, controlled by hatred. That is the only difference. You are even more unstable than I. You are human and ogre at the same time. That is why it is possible for the ogre battle to occur without the influence of the netherworld. As humans fight among themselves and hate each other, Son of man, it is not by accident that Yuma was selected as my vessel. This was all planned by someone with formidable power. Be careful. He, the creator of chaos, is born of this land. The ogre battle cannot be avoided. I don't remember how much of that carries over depending on if you have a high chaos frame at this, at this point. Be careful, son of man. No worries, Danica. We'll be good. We've got white mute.
You know, for an N64 game, I like the little effects like that. It's a very pretty game, even if it's sprites and such. Farewell, Slappy. <laughs> Shit. Oh god, I can't wait to get to that point with my side file since his name is Dipshit. Alright! Look at this! We've done it! We've we've taken over everything and the game is over! Ah. So, I'm going to restore things, organize... Boy, let's not do this just in case everything fucks up again. And uh, we've got one more battle left, everybody, as we take our victory lap. Thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you again tomorrow for another stream episode. Damn it.